Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review and swatches of the LA Splash uh, Ultra Defined Foundation. I got this foundation about a month or two ago now. I know I'm late. Uh, and I just finally had time. Snapchat fam, you already know the deal. From the last time y'all saw me, I graduated nursing school. But anyways, you guys, so back to this foundation. So I've had this foundation for about two months and a little quicker story so when I ordered my first one because this is the second one so story time quickly so I ordered the first one in chestnut when I ordered they were having a 50% off sale off their entire website like a secret code or whatever so I ordered the foundation and I ordered some liquid lipstick so when the foundation came I tried it on y'all it was legit white so it was a hell now so I said, you know what, let me call them and see what happens. So I called customer service and then somebody answered and she was like, you know what, I understand. How about you send it back to us and we can send you what we think will be your match. So they sent me a shade in cocoa. This is $28 a pop. Um, some people are saying that it's very identical to the, um, what is it? Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I actually have a shade from them but it's kind of like gray on me as well so this shade is in cocoa so today I'm just gonna be showing you guys if it works for me and I'm probably just gonna be doing my makeup and just seeing how this wears out so um, let's get into this packaging really quickly so this is the packaging packaging is really really cute y'all you just pull it out like this and you see that crystal ball that is your foundation um, it's really 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 cute. I really like the packaging. I feel like <laughs> Yeah, I've been drinking. Okay, let's, let's see if I can do this again. Okay, I just had a glass of wine before I did this video Maybe I shouldn't but anyways, um, I feel like they put a lot of thought and effort I really like this crystal ball like you can see yourself in it. It's really really cute So this is what the foundation looks like. Ooh Well, this is my first time opening it so you can kind of see like it's it leaked and it leaked into the cover so when you open it up you see this you see that so I'm just gonna be putting this on my face with a foundation brush just to see if it's close or if it's not or whatever it is so I will be right back so I'm just gonna take a foundation brush it's really really soft the formula let's see what it looks like on the back of my hands looks like <laughs> yeah um, huh. let's see <sighs> it's still a hell now you know what let me just let's see this is cocoa this is really light really really light but it feels lightweight this is a matte finish foundation with full coverage so it dries matte I'm guessing you have to work very quick you know what let's see right now it's looking very off but you never know until you blend it in. Y'all, note to self, never judge a book by its cover. This thing blends beautifully. Hello? Wow. Like, when I first put it on, it looked really, really ashy. I ain't even gonna lie. But look at it. It's like blending perfectly. Like, I am in shock, honey. So this is okay for me foundation feels very lightweight um, it doesn't feel like I have anything on and honestly it blends very well with the rest of my body my neck 
So what I'm going to do right now is put on my concealer, do my eyebrows, and I will be back and we can set everything together and we'll see how it works out at the end of the video. I'm just going to put that here. A little goes a long way, y'all. A little goes a long way. So I'm going to use the other side. Laura Mercier setting powder to set my concealer and this is in the shade deep love 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 this thing I love the Laura Mercier thing because it is perfect for your skin tone and it's not too high yellow like my Sasha Buttercup was way too yellow for me, honey. I'm gonna be using the Sephora brand um, mascara. I just got this today. This is the Jet Black, twelve dollars. It is the full action extreme effect mascara. I don't want to do lashes today, so I'm just gonna. This blush is by Revlon. It's a beautiful magenta shade and a little goes a long way, honey. Because you're going to be looking like a clown, like I look right now. So I'm going to tone it down with my foundation brush. Now I'm going to use my Colored Rain Glow Lighters. This is in Your Treat. Love these things. They're so silky smooth on your skin. And a little goes a long way. You see that glow? That is even way too much for me. So I'm going to have to tone it down. set everything is ready to go and honestly y'all <laughs> you should never judge a book by its cover this foundation is like my second skin hello it blends in perfectly and you guys know what I noticed so you know how I like to use my Peter Thomas Roth thing right here I didn't use that today even though it's kind of creasing up a little bit if you can see the lines it's not as bad as my regular you know cap on the foundation even though it's matte it's actually lightweight this foundation actually exceeded my expectation like it literally blends with my neck and I didn't even drag it into my neck I literally just covered this black spot that I have right here uh, and that's it and it's hot AF so and I don't feel sticky it doesn't feel uncomfortable you know how are you how when you wear foundation and it's you just feel like oh my god I can't wait to get home to take this off nothing like that I really really like it this is probably gonna be my newest thing to wear in the summertime uh, in the summer I rarely wear makeup because it is way too hot to be in no damn sticky foundation hello 
so I'm constantly looking for something so lightweight um, I was thinking my NYX foundation the little drop droplet one will be my summer foundation because it's not as heavy and it's full coverage and a little goes a long way so and it's dark enough because in the summertime you get dark so I feel like this is in between so I overall I would recommend this foundation I just did a, a quick get ready with me just so we can see what we were working with and while I was applying my concealer everything went well um I've had this on for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes I actually went to eat something um, after I set my face and I haven't applied my nose is kind of oily but that's expected I only get oily around my nose area and that's it so overall I will recommend this foundation um, if you guys are wondering what foundations I wear so let's 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 do a review so I wear the NARS luminous weightless foundation in New Orleans I wear Cap on D Lock It Tattoo in 78. That is only wintertime foundation because it is thick AF. Um, MAC Match Master in 8.5. MAC NW47 Fluid Foundation. I usually list everything in the description box. So I will do that just in case you were wondering. So I hope you guys found this video very helpful. Again, I would say do not judge a book by its cover. Um, again, like I said, they plan on coming out with more shades, so we'll see because they don't really have, I think they have about four or three shades for dark skin. So again, like I said, the first shade, Chestnut, did not work, and this one actually worked out pretty, pretty well. So I hope you guys find this video very helpful. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.